I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Sunday morning, the 5th of February, 2023, and this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. If we start off in the book of James, chapter 1, and I'm reading verse 22, but be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves. And then we go to the gospel of Luke chapter 9, and I'm reading from verse 16. And then he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the multitude. So they all ate and were filled. Jesus was a doer and not just a talker. We mustn't just tell folk that we love them. We must show them that we love them. 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 15 and 16 is the account of the poor widow who had one little boy and she had run out of food. There was a terrible drought and the prophet Elijah tested her and asked her to give him part of her last meal. You know, after that, her bin of flour never ran out and her jar of oil never dried up. You can't outgive the Lord. I remember years ago in the big seed sower, that big yellow truck, we were taking the gospel into Central Africa. We were right in the heart of Tanzania, taking the gospel to an unreached people group. There was a group of filmmakers that were following us hard from behind in pickups, but they had had many breakdowns in the thick bush. Finally, one night they arrived at our camp. We'd been on the road for over three weeks. Early in the morning, we took the filmmakers a nice hot cup of strong, sweet coffee. We didn't have much left ourselves at that time. They were deeply grateful and touched. You know, over the years, from time to time, we bump into each other. And the amazing thing is, they never speak about the miracles, the signs, the wonders that took place on that tour. They only talk about that cup of coffee <laughs> that they got early in the morning. You know, washing the dishes touches my dear wife's heart more than a bouquet of beautiful flowers. Go out today and be Jesus to some poor soul. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful Sunday. Goodbye.